Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. Uh, I did some stuff and then realised I wasn't recording because that's me. So I'll just uh, let you know what I did. I upgraded the stagecoach because we had plenty of these. So now we've got enough room for 24 people. There were two new characters here, but I didn't want to take an abomination because we've got an abomination. That's not to say we don't need another abomination, but the we don't need another abomination. That's a separate... This is a separate concern. Uh, I don't know how to use them too well, and also they restrict the party that I can take. That being said, we may take them on this party. Now I have picked up the uh, Man at Arms, because I really like taking Holmesy on missions, and Holmesy is actually quite ready for another mission, but is level 2. Uh, that's going to be Megastos, and also welcome Mari who is my first subscriber that I didn't tell to, subs to subscribe, so that's really, really good. Uh, thank you for watching the series. I very much appreciate that. And here is your name in lights. You're famous now. Try not to die. I took a Plague Doctor. We like Plague Doctors. Mary's position is going to be the third, and Megistos is going to be the first or second, which is as we expected. Anemic. A bleed resist debuff is kind of bad if we're going to take Mari out with uh, Bagel or Pete, which I think I'm going to do, because what I want to do is try and level up our new characters, especially Tim 2.0, who has got stress, even though there's no... <laughs> 19 stress and no resolve XP whatsoever, so we'll probably take out some units, but we have to be able to take out a healer, and all our healers are so high level, they basically will not go out with our level 0 units, which gives us the choice of Pete or Bagel, but Bagel's nearly level 2 anyway, so we might as well try and level up Pete and all our new people. And now I did say we would do a short mission to make a short episode, because the last two episodes have been quite long, and I will definitely be doing that. But first, I think I'm going to put Mr. Steve in for some treatment, because I've not been taking Mr. Steve on anything, because Mr. Steve is at 50% uh, stress, 51% stress, which is slightly too much. Holmesy is at 41%, which is probably good enough for a short mission, but again, we're going to do a low-level mission and try and get some people leveled up, rather than trying to do a long mission which involves a lot of, you know, crap. I didn't sell any trinkets in the end, because although, you know, they've all got something going for them, and I keep thinking maybe we'll take some out, but what I really need to start doing is paying attention to the ones I do use before I start getting rid of the ones I don't. And of course, every single mission does give us a new one. So I thought we would do this one, the uh, Archer's Ring is available here, which I think we're probably going to be giving to Dutch unless there's better ones, usually for Dutch. We haven't taken Vague out for a while as well, or, well, <laughs> to be fair, we haven't taken a lot of people out for a while, but we're going to construct a party out of Viz, uh, Tim, Mary, Megastos, and Pete Mark II. I think this is the right order, simply because your Man at Arms can be in the second position here. The yips is less accuracy, which is not great. But we can go to the cove, but we're not going to the cove. We're going to the warrens again. There is uh, an apprentice mission, but it's medium. And there is a veteran mission. Uh, there is a short mission, but it's a veteran. So this is the only short apprentice one, and that's what we want to do. We also want to take trinkets. Don't forget the trinkets. Now, this is a good heal skill thing, because it doesn't, Im it doesn't have the associated stress penalty, but this is a very good like, bonus to heal skills in the first place. However, actually, let's just check. We haven't actually upgraded Pete, so we should do that. I think in order to give Pete the best opportunity of not dying this time around, we should at least invest something. I quite like all of these, actually. Hands from the Abyss. It's a double stun. No, it's a single stun. But it can't hit the back. I can think maybe we get Demon's Pull, which clears corpses. Actually, that's probably a very useful thing to take with us on this mission specifically. So we'll turn that off and turn that on. Which puts you better in a third position, which is interesting. Ah, so I think that's okay. If you get moved forwards, then you can at least do some damage. So I think we'd rather have Mari in the third position because they're... All of their... Oh, Battlefield Medicine... It's incision that we want to be using here, really. So one of these two is going to have to sacrifice their stabby skill, and it's going to be our healer, because our healer should not be stabbing as much as 
everybody else. You're in a pers the right position. You've got the guard and the retribution, which is the repost, which is the one I like. But you're a very uh, Buffy character at this stage. And not to say you're a character from Buffy, but you're simply a character that is capable of buffing a lot. But you can do a lot of damage and you can cure your own blights and bleeds, which is really good. Do you do... Like, if I can guard you <laughs> and activate repost, that's basically your entire purpose right now. Uh, and I can improve your accuracy and crit chance, which is good, because your accuracy and crit is pretty low. So, let's go back to this. I think this loadout is turning out really well. We have not yet accidentally bled anybody as a result of healing them. On any of... Ooh. Don't like this. That's going away. Uh, as a result of... Yeah. And claustrophobia is probably going to be... More stress in the Warrens, I expect. Although you've got a scouting chance. It's fine. We'll be okay. Just have to pay attention to Pete's stress. Maybe spend a couple of weeks just getting rid of some of the worst things about Pete here. Because I think he started with a lot of them. That's pretty nice. So, Plague Doctor is going to be... Probably that. Basically, it's going to be the Blights that we're concerned about here. Because you've got... Play grenade there, noxious blast, and we've got a, a bleed skill as well. So maybe we take a bleed amulet or something simple like that. Something that will at least uh, bleed skill chance is okay, but it does reduce our speed. And I don't want to. Everything seems to reduce speed, and that's really upsetting because it means that we always seem to be going last, and I don't like that. We've got a yeah. More bleed resist. The dodge is. A bit of a problem, but we can always use guard. You are basically going to need HP because we're going to be guarding a lot with you. And you're the oh, Coast Ranger, that's not what we want. So we will try and find protection. And exchange speed is fine. More dodge would be good as well. We might get away with this. That seems like a good one. Compared to all the other ones, we have got a Man at Arms thing though. More max HP and less speed. Max HP... I think I'd rather have the huge dodge benefit from this. Now we're at 15 dodge when the lights... When, when we're healed, which is great, in my opinion, because we can keep you healed reasonably easily with with uh, good hits from that. More actually on melee is actually exactly what you want because of Iron Swan and things like that. You tend to miss more than I'm happy with. Move skill we don't really care about. We do have stuns, so maybe we can, like... Sacrifice some... Dodge for stun. More protection. More damage. I don't like the amount of stress damage these do. <clears throat> Unless we've got a way of recuperating from the stress. I'd rather not do it. A Hellion bleed skill chance. Have we taken bleed? Bleed, bleed. Stun. No. We're not taking bleed, so that's no use. Hmm... Max HP. More dodge and less accuracy. That could be actually... I I'm happy with that. A huge amount of dodge, which means we can probably use a, a negative dodge, actually. Anything with negative dodge are good stuff, like that one, for example, because... Alright, I'll show you in a minute. This buff here increases accuracy, right? So we don't need the plus accuracy. I mean, it's good to stack up the more accuracies, but this is plus 10, and that was only plus 5. Right? Yeah, plus 5 accuracy. So having plus 10 accuracy at the start of the round on the Hellion means that we can then use the actual trinket that we gave her, which is plus 10 damage, a sacrifice for dodge, which then is made up for by that. So that's a really good... I think that's really good, and I'm happy with it. So uh, we might as well just go and stop yapping on about it, right? It's a short mission, so I'll take... I always take two shovels, irrespective of the length of the mission. But I think we only need to take one stack of food and one stack of torches. Just to try and keep the amount of money we spend down, it's good to have a supply of money in future. The Warrens may have a couple of these, and it may have a couple of these, so I'm happy with that. And it's also the one where you find the swords, so we want to take those. But otherwise, I'm happy with this, and I think we might as well just go. Yeah, it's telling us about putting stuff... Using stuff on the stuff that we find on the curios. So, our job is to explore 90% of the rooms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, I think we can get away with not doing one. 
I'd rather not risk it. I don't want to have to backtrack all this way. Just to have to do that room again. So I'll suffer the penalty of backtracking. And we'll see how it goes. We don't really have anyone with a good amount of trap disarm, I think. So not that we know about any traps. There's a trap. Dodge. Three. Ancient bleed. Traps. Yeah, suck it up. Good start, Meg. Blood. Uh, a fresh torch is fine. That's why I used one just now. Loot are often low on supplies. But no actual combat, so that's fine. Spoke too soon, obviously. Ah, surprise, great. Right, as long as you don't go first, we'll be okay. In fact, as long as you go before you, I'm absolutely down with that. Uh, we can cure our own lights and bleeds, which is really good. I could have cured your bleed, but it's like two damage left on it. I don't care. We'll plague you. Powerful blow. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. That's a lot of damage. What have you got? Let's have a look at your HP. 8 and 14. So you die in two rounds. Unfortunately, you did not go first, but I can... I can still buff, it's just out of sync. It's not great. I'd like to kill this. Which is why I'm going to. You're dead. Perfect. Uh, that was really good. I'm very much a fan of that. <clears throat> that will clear all corpses, so maybe we should not use it. Less dodge? Uh, not valuable. Do you have anything that benefits from marked targets? No. Do you? No. So this is only going to be used for its debuff potential. Which means we might as well just pull this closer. And then let our mana arms do damage to this. <coughs> which works, but I wasn't expecting it to. I was hoping that it would die from the blight, but that's okay. It may yet have done, it may have done anyway, but you didn't get to, de to stress us out at all, which is great, because Megistos has already managed to take more stress than everybody in the previous episode left with. But uh, it happens. In the last one, at least we had the opportunity to de-stress everybody in the first place, like d during the mission. In this one, we won't, which is kind of a, a bit of a negative about short missions, is that the only way to get rid of the stress that you get from it is to put them in a tavern when they get home or something like that. Munch. <clears throat> You're the munch bunch. Wow. Excuse me. At least you resisted that shit, but that was a crit, which is not great. Why Why are you critting so much? Stop it. That's not great. You can get rid of that, but I don't want to have to. What's this? Four damage altogether. Sure. I mean, we get the buff from it, which is nice. Oh, we have our own accuracy buff, which I didn't realise. So now we don't need to do that, so I'll just squish it. Great. Give them no that great, like that. Oh, you died anyway. So now I don't need to move the... Right, it's only three points of bleed. But it could be enough. It will be enough. As long as you don't get to... Oh, resisted anyway. <laughs> you bastard. You might as well just keep the heals up, because... 13. You needed, like, three. Whatever. Wicked hack? Yeah, that increases our accuracy. I think that's actually a valuable thing to bring along in all situations. And I may yet do it in the future. It's unlocked. You. You unlock it. <laughs> okay. Just in case it was trapped, I wanted someone who could sort of tank that. Uh, I was expecting the trap to be a stress trap rather than an HP trap. So we'll keep going just in case we have to do that room. I'm expecting not. But we may yet have to. What do we win? A buff. Oh, okay. We've got now 50% damage for... Wait, what? I don't know what happened. Did it just double our buff? Don't know, but it's going to go away. Oh, 30% damage until camp, which we're not going to do. So it, it did improve our buff, and I should have used the torch, but never mind. So we've got one stress unit. Oh, no. Play grenade does two things. Maybe not worth doing. We could blight this. Oh, we can't. Well. This has got actually a 2% crit mod on it, which is interesting. Like, it would do one damage. Who cares about that? I might as well... It's, it, they're no different, in my opinion. It's just that that would have hit a second one if there was the option to. And we'll pull you forwards. Because we can't use Iron Swan. There's nothing at the back. So we're going to have to use Wicked Hack or Barbaric. Yow! I think this is just valuable. If it hit, though, we didn't even need to use the blight on it, but at least it's blighted now and it's got some HP, so in a couple of rounds that's going away. 
Right, I'm going to give you everybody. Oh my goodness. Oh, I've learned a lot. <laughs> it doesn't tell you when buffs do everybody. I'm hoping that they'll patch that in the future, because it tells you when an attack will hit everybody. Right, Mari. What are you going to do? You can cure Blight, but no one's got any. And bleed. Or you can inflict Blight and bleed. So I think we'll just inflict it. Try and, uh, try and whittle this one down. This is going to be doing the most damage to us now. That one's going to be a little bit less of a problem. Dodge? You've got some dodge. It can't hurt. But, uh... Really... Pete on this mission is entirely there for the healing backup, and yet we've not really found ourselves in a position to use it. That was very... I mean, it wasn't very lucky, but the chances of that one missing are higher than I'm happy with, so... Taking a chance on it was not necessarily the best of ideas, but it did work out. Shell. I've achieved an unlocked achievement. I've unlocked and achieved. Achieve, unlock, achieve. Turns out I could have used a key earlier. Oh, I used two torches back. That's okay. Right, there's nothing here, so we go back. No attacks, please. No surprise combat from somewhere we've already been. If we can avoid it. And I'm expecting the mission to end here, but... You know, it may not. Everyone's slightly damaged, and we don't have an AoE heal, which is... Like, the best reason to bring uh, Vestal would be the AoE heal when everyone's got basically 5 HP less. So there's combat on the way here, and there's this, which is why we brought these. Glittering gold. Food. Trinkets Might as well marbles. give the food to the occultist. Paid for in blood. I don't want to use it... I don't want to keep it, because it's taken up an inventory space. Right, me go first? No. Of course the stressy one goes first. I think they have high speed stat. Yeah, seven. And these have five. What are ours? Less, I guess. Excuse me. Uh, not, not happy with that. Although you... Oh, well, Adrenaline Rush are Hellion. On their first turn. Absolutely will. Noxious Blast. I'll do the same thing we did last time. We'll get some Blight on the stress unit. Because we can cure HP damage, we can't do anything about stress damage. Two. At least we resisted that. So you're going to uh, do this. I'll improve your accuracy, which is extremely valuable. And then I'll command everybody. Which is the point of this unit. So far I've been using it just to bash things, which is fine. Oh, perfect. Thank you for dodging that. Like bashing things with that unit is not a bad idea. I think 10 is actually sufficient I'm going to do that. Um, but really the point of this thing is to buff everybody else and use the bashes whenever something's close to death. Which is kind of what we've been doing. But hmm. Can you reach that? No. Right, you've got 4 damage. You're going to die. But you're going to get 2 goes. One more go before you do die. I think that's okay. I'm happy with that. There's a chance that the next go, uh, this unit gives us some stress damage on one unit, but whatever. Plus 10 stress damage. So now we just start wicked hacking. Destroyed. I think doing these buffs in, in the early rounds, unless you're surprised and you need to really recover from that. Nobody? Nobody. Um, starting off with buffs is actually extremely valuable. Like, there's no point activating repost here, we could just bash that. Now when you have a go, you're dead. Great is the weapon that comes so that was... Earlier on I was, you know, umming and ahhing about whether to attack that unit with one of these units. Glad I didn't. Turns out. Uh... Eight. Not many. Might as well. I mean, we're very likely to heal people up to full health. Uh, not very likely. We're quite likely. We're suitably likely. It's a chance that I'm willing to take. So we'd call it that. Uh, that we always heal up to full health as long as we don't wait too long. And it's not like it's... The unit doesn't have anything else to do other than back us up with heals. 
Uh, I don't mean like in heals, not Eddie Izzard style, but you know, applying heal damage. But look, <laughs> you know what I mean. That's got dodge, and I want it to die. So I will try and make sure it doesn't have dodge. It resisted the not having dodge, but I guess that's okay. I think this is valuable, even though we had an opportunity to smite stuff, beat the shit out of it, uh, whilst it's all stunned. This is now blighted, which gives it. It's going to kill it, but I don't want it to have any turns. And we'll accuracy everybody. It'd be nice if some of these buffs actually gave us dodge. But, I mean, all of this is still really good. That's just straight up stress. Oh, just a mark. That's okay. Bleeds. You can deal with that. You can get rid of that on your own, actually. Resisted that bleed, which is very valuable. So, Mary, you're going to heal yourself. Uh, are you... What is it for? Two damage for two rounds, and you've got 10 HP. I think you're more valuable actually trying to kill stuff. I could stack up this so that this basically dies next turn, but it's not actually going to, so that's a problem. Or, we just try and hurt something. Maybe this? We could crit it. We didn't. When you get a go, you're healing that, basically. Unfortunately, that melee attack doesn't hit at the back, because that's exactly what I would have liked to do. Three. Not great. At least it resisted. At least the bleed was resisted. A dodge is great. Yeah, I'd like a sort of a dodge improvement. None of these combats is lasting long enough for me to really use things like uh, Defender and Retribution. Like, we could just crush this, right? Done. Broken. Maintain the offensive. Everyone here is probably going to have to go in for some stress relief at the end of the mission. How come you haven't had to go for so long? If you crit this, it's dead. I mean, that was more of a cue than a than an analysis of the situation, but it's okay. You have got one damage. Could just kill that. But that means that definitely gets a go. That's definitely going to get go anyway, unless someone else goes first. Yeah, I, again, taking something out is almost always more valuable than letting it live. And we get to hack it anyway. Perfect. Not perfect. We could have done a bit better, but a lot of it is rolls of the dice. Ah, oh, should I put your bandage? So we'll put the... Oh, we didn't bring two, so... Oops, not that button. Ignore. I thought we brought two of those, but we didn't bring two of those, so that's okay. And we don't need any more food, that's for sure. Maybe more torches, though. Ooh, we're scouting. So now we get to see a battle. We can be prepared for that, and a trap. But no room battles, which means no room chests. Take this. Wealth beyond measure. Great. Wealth beyond measure. I think I measured it. It was 250. But, uh, ready for that. Surprise them. That's good. I'd like you to heal you. Yes. Crit. At least you're not bleeding at them. That's the first time a bleed has happened. Don't forget, it's still, a uh, ultimately a, uh, Holmesy. Shush. <laughs> it's ultimately a profit, is what I'm trying to say, in terms of healing. Yes, I are. Uh, this is probably going to be the last one I record today, so... There's that. Command is actually such a good... <laughs> the damage and accuracy. Uh, the crit. The crit's not that useful. 1%. It's kind of nice, but the accuracy is extremely valuable. I mean, I could do this as well. We could try and... Like, can we kill one of these? Yes. Another abomination. That made it probably a better thing to do than to buff ourselves, because it killed something, I guess. <laughs> Excuse me. What is all this shit? Stress is fine, but no disease, please. Why are you still bleeding? I'm not happy. Uh... That thing's going to live, isn't it? I'm not a fan of this. Goodness me. Pete, you should take a leaf out of Bagel's book. Seriously. Uh-oh. Ow. 
with a bleed? No, that's okay. Yeah, shake it off. It's okay. Mary is being let down by Pete. That's our new recruit. And you're just letting it all go to pot, man. God ally. And, I mean, we should probably do this. It's not going to stop the bleed there, but it'll make sure that any attacks that come in aren't applied to to Mary, but are applied to Meg instead. This, this will kill it. This won't. I mean, this will ensure that it's dead. Oh, it will literally kill it. Yep. That was definitely worthwhile. You're going, you're going in for stress relief ASAP. Please. Thank you. You've been rolling so poorly recently. I was a bit worried. Uh, that's dead. So we do this. Because that will die of bleed, which means everything will move forward, which means we can attack the shit out of this on the next go. Or even on this go, as it turns out. I mean, we're not going to hit it. We could crit. We didn't crit. It's okay, though. We get to go first, yeah. But, uh, attacks him. Yep. And you dodged it, which is really, really good. Still bleeding, but that's it. It's gone. And you pick up the kill, which may, yeah, reduce some stress. Alright, that's really good. Push on to the task. We didn't want to use those curios because they required stuff we don't have, basically. More scouting. It teaches about... There's no combat in these rooms. At least we get to wander around a bit without... Yeah, hunger's fine. As it gives us some HP, so I'm happy with that. And I do like finding these because I've always prepared for them. And there's some food again, so that's okay. I should probably select the, uh, the one I actually want. There's a trap and I forgot. Mine Bloody knew about it as well. You know what? I'm going to tank that blood because it's completely my fault. I remembered about it. It was on the screen, but I was talking and thinking about other things. Entirely mine. No touchy. No touchy. Uh, there's, a, there's, there's a thing. Don't. 60, 50. Man, you, you guys suck at this. <laughs> that was basically a toy, a toy cost. It's a real thing. A toy cost. We all know how that works. Don't pretend we don't. Scouting. Oh, we're done. Uh, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm scared. Basically, everybody needs to go in for stress relief, but at least we got something out of it. Especially this. This could be really good for Dutch. Or uh, Raikudo, in fact. Because Raikudo has a debuff to that already. Thin-blooded. Mm, okay. Because you can cure your own. Uh, really good. And kind of nice. Everyone's leveled up. So I am happy with that. That's why we went out. Everyone needs to level up and try to get to a, I remember days a position the where they can help out. And laughter could be heard from the tavern. Such a morose chap. Look, he's got 22 people helping out. Enlightened will only meditate. So that's... Now we get to the point where we need to start... Ah, I was hoping that would happen. Where we need to start improving the number of spaces we have. Uh, but this is exactly what I wanted to happen. We have cured both of them. Possibly as a result of increasing the chance that we cured both of them. Yeah. Sweet. We've got a... Uh, we're a bit low on these things. We're at the stage now where all these places need quite a lot of stuff. 20s and 21s rather than 7s and 4s. But Yeah. These are the places I'm really looking to focus on improving. Everywhere else... Well, we should start putting people in these places. Oh, of course you're in the fucking meditation spot. It's okay, because Mr. Steve, although he will now only meditate, doesn't need to. So Mr. Steve can come out on a future mission. Tim, you can drink Tindy Vom, because it's cheap. As can Megistos. I'm pretty sure those two will be perfectly happy drinking buddies. We've got 22 grand again, which is stupendously valuable. I wonder if we can improve the stress relief. Ah, we've got a lot of stress recovery in the bar as well. So the bar is cheap and very, very good for us. No one's been in the brothel, and the reason is, unless they have to, which I don't think anybody does, it's very expensive. And I don't really want to spend all these. You, you can see how <laughs> the, the amount that I've used them represents the amount that I've updated them, but represents the amount that they cost, because I'm not prepared to put the money into my... Uh, a vast array of heroes. I would like to find, yes, an antiquarian, which we saw a couple of episodes ago. So I was holding out for a couple of things that I've not seen before. So I'll take this, and also a grave robber, which we haven't seen before. Now, I've run out of names. 
A veritable crowd is my new achievement. I've run out of names for people, so if you'd like to volunteer yourself to be put behind the enemy line, well, in front of enemy lines, as cannon fodder for this interminable adventure, uh, let me know on Twitter or in the comments below. But, bringing ourselves back to the present, we have a new boss. I don't really want to, that's <laughs> scary. Uh, there's an apprentice boss here, an apprentice boss here. Both medium missions, and we do keep doing a lot of those. A long one has shown up. Uh, which means we're going to end up with either long episodes or cut episodes in the future. There is another short one, though. We could level some more people up. I quite like doing that. Um, obviously, these people... Need, ooh, these need, people need to go out and actually get stuff done. But I, I like doing these short, levelly up missions where we seem... It feels like we get a lot of... Uh, a lot of benefit out of them. What have I got here? Bad humours. Probably want to deal with that. Dutch can keep rabies. It's kind of... It's part of his... Uh, it's part of his thing now, right? Sort by stress. Who's the most stressed? The people in. Okay, good. <clears throat> Mary is at that level where I'm not quite sure whether it's worth putting them in for stress relief. So we might bring out maybe Mary. Uh, let's have a sort by level. No, the other way. Our new two people who may become named in future but have not yet been. Uh, Mary and some... Well, I don't actually know what type of unit this is. Let's see. Get down. Self, 10 dodge, 3 speed. Heal, 1 to 1. Uh, anybody, maybe? This is a very... Um... Okay. This unit actually is going to require me to unlock something. Because it will not do any damage, nor any heal. It's It's got a lot of buffs going on, but they're not very good. It's not really a healing unit. So we're going to need to unlock one of the things that actually does damage. Probably the Blights. These are all... This is a debuff unit. It's got one actual damage thing. And it's got a, a less crit and a less HP. So well, that's pretty nice. So yeah, in the next episode, maybe we will start upgrading some people. Uh, and... We will maybe do another short mission. But until then, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.